Hi guys, just a quick video today. I'm having a massive, massive problem with Adobe Creative Cloud Premiere Pro. I used to use um, After Effects to do all my color grading. I'd get everything ready in Premiere Pro, uh, double the double the sequence above itself, make that copied sequence a linked, a linked After Effects file and, and color graded through After Effects. But uh, Adobe had been like sing, you know, bragging about how awesome they, it is to color and do everything using the uh, color panel. In Premiere Pro, so I gave it a go, and it's kind of worked a few times. Um, because uh, I do photography and uh, video work, I use a program called Latisse, and it makes custom LUTs. So basically, you can color, you can edit your photographs, copy those settings, paste it onto a screenshot um, of a similar video footage, and then save that as a LUT. Apply the LUT, and then if you were to have like a slideshow. Um, if you were going to have footage and then stop and then have a slideshow of the thing, it'd be all seamless and it'd be the same look. Um, so I'm, I'm working on this wedding and I I did this and I was going to make a video of the workflow because it's a little bit awkward, but once you get going, it's great and, it, and it, I'll keep you work consistent and the, and the look for it. I went through the whole project, the project's locked in, color graded every single look. Um, took me, you know, a fair while because the, the total edit's like an hour and 10 minutes long. Close Premiere Pro, open Premiere Pro, and it's just completely at random with no sort of reason or logic behind it. It's changed all the LUTs. So it's applied LUTs to every clip, but it's changed what LUTs it has applied. So I closed it, opened it again, changed them again. Like there's, there's no reason to it. Um, and then I, you know, just, just letting you know in case you were thinking about, um, using the color space the same way I, the color panel in Premiere Pro to apply LUTs, maybe custom LUTs that you've done. Um, basically to fix it, I had to, I tried exporting it to speed grade. Speed grade wouldn't accept the, wouldn't accept the EDL. Um, then I tried sending it to After Effects, exporting the XML, and I had a few problems, but eventually I managed to um, get it into After Effects. So I had to export it as an XML, import it into After Effects, select all the clips, batch remove, batch remove uh, presets, or effects, sorry, batch remove effects. Then I had to go open up every single LUT that I made before and open it in Latisse and save it as a cube file, but with a different variant because After Effects, and I think SpeedGrid, but I'm not sure, only accepts cube files made from Lattice with a, uh, Idris or Adobe variant. So hopefully, if you guys are sort of dabbling or thinking about changing your workflow, then this can save you like a day, if not two days. <laughs> Adobe, stop releasing software until it's ready. Like, I think it's two updates already this year and I'm having massive, massive problems. So literally, if you're sort of looking at using LUTs in your own workflow, Put in the comments below or something, help me out. If, if you're having the same problem, I'm using a Mac. Um, but yeah, literally one of the worst, worst experiences I've had with Adobe this year. But if, if you guys know what it is, or if it's happened to you, let me know. And if it's happened to you on a Windows machine as well, like I'd be interested to know that because it's, it's just really annoying. And I'm, now I'm gonna have to try and roll back to 2014. And uh, I don't, I think that they changed the file settings so I remember having a 2014 project open it in 2015 and they said that I needed a copy and change the file name because it needs to change so I don't even know if I can I can roll back to it and edit stuff that I've made in 2015 anyway any help or advice any if it's happened to you or if you know how to fix it or anything please let me know I'd be uh, really happy to figure out what the hell is going on please sort it out Adobe